Hey guys, my name is Leila and today I want to show you my five recent discoveries. Um, these fragrances are hidden gems because no one is talking about them but they deserve attention because I think they smell much more expensive than they cost. Um, the first fragrance I want to start with today is a fragrance from Arabic brand. This is Ajmal and the fragrance is called Antis. Um, I would say this is quite a minimalistic design for the Arabic brand, um, very simple bottle uh, for the Arabic brand and I like it, um, I must admit. The fragrance itself is really nice, it's a perfect fragrance for summer I would say. This is a summer in the bottle for me, a very feminine, uh, very young, youthful, uh, girly I would say. Um, it's a mixture of citrus notes and especially lemon. This is uh, what I can smell um, on the top most of all. Like it's um, mandarin, orange and lemon, but lemon is more prominent here. It's, it's very loud lemon, but it's not synthetic lemon. It's very close to natural and it smells very tart, sour. It's very yellow, like it's like a sunny lemon. Um, in the base, like in the heart, it has white flowers. It has jasmine, it has tuberose, like a uh, white flower accord, floral accord. Uh, and in the base, it has woody notes, like it has sandalwood, it has cedar, um, probably even has musk, but the musk is not here. Like it, it's, it's more woody, um, like it's not musky. I would say the base is more woody than, rather than musky, even if it has, even if it has some uh, musk. But altogether, I would say it's a very, very uh, good uh, in terms of the quality and the blend uh, and the lasting power also type of fragrance. It's a perfect fragrance for every day. You don't need to think about uh, what to wear, let's say, uh, when you wear this fragrance. It's a perfect everyday fragrance for every any occasion and any um, venue because uh, it is very universal, very versatile and it will suit any age I would say. I uh, purchased this fragrance because uh, I was looking for the replacement of one of my favorite fragrances that I I believe never sh have never shown on my channel because it was discontinued long time ago and it's impossible to find it nowadays. Uh, I'm talking about the Diesel Fuel for Life Unlimited. Um, I got this uh, bottle uh, five years probably ago my husband managed to find it somewhere in a duty free um, and he bought it for me without even asking if I want it or no because he loves this fragrance on me and he knows that I love this fragrance. I was wearing it in 2008 I think. Um, I purchased it in uh, purchased it at that time. I tried it in Debenhams. I fell in love. I bought it there. Um, and uh, after that, I think I repeated this fragrance a couple of times because I liked the way it smells. It is not a type of very, you know, complex, very um, difficult to wear type of fragrance. No, it is not complex. It is quite simple, but at the same time, I wouldn't call it very superficial type of fragrance. No, um, I love it. The lasting power for this one is quite uh, good. It's like five to six hours and I think it's more than enough, uh, especially when the weather is very hot and you want something citrusy, uh, very zesty, yellow sun-like. This is a perfect choice. Um, just uh, try this. I'm sure you will like it. If you liked Diesel Pure for Life Unlimited, um, then the most probably you will like this fragrance because they're very similar. Uh, I don't think that the Entis was created as a clone of Diesel Fuel for Life, no, uh, because, well, come on, that, that fragrance is not that uh, popular and uh, it is a quite cheap one, it was quite affordable. Uh, however, I think this is some, some sort of, you know, coincidence that they are, uh, they, they smell alike and I'm very happy that I managed to find this quite a budget but very, very good quality fragrance that I highly recommend for you to try. The next fragrance will be also from an Arabic brand and this is one of my favorite brands. It's Al Haramain. This one is a perfume oil. It comes in this uh, pink tube box. It's called Omri Uno. Um, and the 
fragrance looks like this. It's a typical uh, bottle for, I would say, uh, yeah, it's a typical one for the perfume oil. It is very heavy. It is extremely heavy. I think it weighs about five kilograms. It is so heavy. Uh, it is a pure, uh, you know, Arabic aesthetic, like um, Middle Eastern, like Oriental. I must admit that the quality of the glass is very good and the uh, facets are really beautiful on this particular bottle. I'm not quite sure about the lid. Um, it's well made, uh, nothing is falling down. I mean, the crystals are all well glued and fixed. Um, however, again, um, I'm not a big fan of this crystals. Um, but again, the lead is very heavy. It's made of metal, it's metallic. And the fragrance itself, it's gorgeous. It's really nice, really, really nice. You know, it has, um, for me, it smells like a, a citrusy, but at the same time, very sweet, caramel-like sweets like caramel mixed with citruses uh, and lots and lots of vanilla this is how it smells to me and the citruses they give some um, freshness to this fragrance if you look at the notes uh, i believe uh, the notes say it has uh, a citrus notes it has some peppery notes white pepper probably um, it also has a woody notes it's definitely woody and it has some leather. Um, I can't say that I can smell leather here. Most probably I can I can say it probably it exists in a form of um, in a form of suede. Uh, this is not a leathery fragrance at all. It is very light in terms of color, like it's not dark at all. Uh, it's really light, it is citrusy, it is sweet, caramel-like, it has lots of vanilla definitely uh, it has some amber and the amber I would say it's more like a woody note to me it smells like a woody note to me but altogether I would say this is a very very good fragrance for summer if you are not afraid of sweet fragrances for summer sweet and citrusy this is the one it is not floral doesn't have any floral aspect it's more of like as I said citrusy vanilla caramel uh, a bit spicy and woody this is how it smells very nice one and being an oil of course it lasts long it has a very good projection at least I can smell myself really well uh, I just you know um, put just a little bit of oil to my inner side of my elbow and it's enough like I can smell I can smell at least for I don't know seven to eight hours and I also like to layer this fragrance with some um, fresher ones, less sweet ones, like with Antis. They, this is a very good combination. And um, some other citrus fra fragrances, like citrusy fragrances, like from Atelier Cologne, I have. Um, very good one. And it's not expensive at all. You can still purchase it within $50, something like that. And I believe that for $50, this is a really, really good fragrance. And it smells much more expensive than $50, believe me. And it looks like, you know, if you like this this is aesthetic, the most probably you will like this one. But again, this is a like a weapon. You can kill someone with this one. It's so heavy. Um, the next fragrance will be from um, Yves Rocher. And um, I bought this one in... Um, Istanbul when I was uh, there recently a couple of weeks ago um, and I heard about this fragrance but I never realized how good it is um, because again I have one more fragrance from Irache that I adore and I have in the backups uh, of that fragrance I'm talking about so elixir bois sensuel um, but this one I would say is completely different and it is so good I couldn't even imagine how good it is and it is like you know it is intoxicating and it is the fragrance that absorbs you and it doesn't let you go and you want to you know it's like a narcotic you want to use it again and again and it lasts oh my god it lasts all day long and uh, not only me but even my kids they fell in love with this fragrance they use it when they go to school and every time when they come back from school I can smell this fragrance fragrance from them the base of this fragrance I love it and uh, even 
next day I can smell my, my my son's hair still has the smell of this fragrance and it's gorgeous I love it I'm talking about Queer de Nuit from Yves Rocher um, this is how the bottle looks it is very simple but really nice this fragrance is all about vanilla and this is a very different type of vanilla it's it's not something that I already have and I have different types of vanilla in my collection this one is vanilla plus pink pepper plus coffee plus cacao the fragrance itself doesn't smell dark to me though it has the notes of cacao and uh, coffee I don't smell coffee that much I would say I would say it's mostly cacao that I can smell here but loads and loads of vanilla and it definitely has a very pleasant woody base the fragrance itself is molecular but it is not cheap and synthetic at all it doesn't smell cheap to me at all like I would say this fragrance smells like a very very good designer fragrance and as I said I love this fragrance I'm obsessed with it it's like a narcotic to me I cannot stop wearing it and you can see already we uh, you know used quite a lot me uh, my son my daughter um, and we love it it's a like mouth-watering gourmand fragrance for us but my husband he hates this fragrance you know why because he says it smells like um, metal knife that you used to cut onion and you left in the kitchen for a couple of hours this is how it smells to him like metal metal notes plus onion juice this is what he smells here and it is shocking that for me this is a mouth-watering cacao plus vanilla and I love it and for my husband this is a metal plus onion so again this is uh, uh, you know how different we analyze the information this is how different our brain works and uh, how, how different our perception is someone can smell a very pleasant vanilla and someone can smell a very unpleasant onion juice the next fragrance I want to talk about is from Zara and I discovered this fragrance recently when I went to Zara store I you know approached the stand with all of the fragrances uh, and I noticed that uh, there are three or four of the fragrances that I uh, from this line that I haven't seen before and never tried and normally what I do I look at the level of the juices of the juice left in the in the bottles and I try the most popular one the bottle with the least uh, juice left and this one was the one who had almost nothing left um, and I tried Leather Jardin from Zara from the collection um, that was made in collaboration with Jo Malone um, this is how the uh, box looks like and the fragrance inside looks like this and let me take it out and I will show you the bottle is nice I like the cap though this is a plastic but it looks quite good and I like the color of the juice and when I smelled this fragrance from the blotter when I sprayed it I was shocked because I never I've never expected to smell this from this from Zara and I would say bravo Zara kudos because this requires a lot of courage and boldness to make a fragrance like this it smells like fragrance from 70s 80s from my childhood it smells like Magie Noir from Lancome like a fragrance of my mom but in a best uh, modern contemporary way it's very interesting um, I would say and Programmatica proves that it has a very low rate like it's 3.4 and um, when you smell this you can understand that straight away this is not a popular it's not going to be a bestseller it's not going to be a popular fragrance because it smells like fragrance from 70s and 80s the very very high quality and leather here is very realistic and nice it's not rough um, it's very well blended and very well made but again this is not the trends of the you know uh, modern trends then I thought well Gucci explodes the the 70s um, vibes uh, a lot in the in the 
clothes and the looks and the makeup uh, why not to do the same for the fragrances and I think if you like the um, aesthetic of 70s and Gucci Gucci type of aesthetic with the uh, flare jeans and uh, um, polo shirts uh, and platform shoes high platform shoes and also the makeup um, from 70s the most probably you will need something like this to support this look you know the oak moss smells very naturalistic uh, again I know it's synthetic but it smells very very close to what I remember from 70s and 80s I, I don't remember from 70s sorry I wasn't I, I, I wasn't born at that time yet uh, from 80s um, but anyway the lasting power of this fragrance is amazing it's not like a typical Zara fragrance that you know um, doesn't that doesn't last long like um, longer than two to three hours no this one lasts all day long the next day from my clothes I can definitely smell this very pleasant rosy leathery oak mossy accord it definitely has an oak moss as I said though it's not listed in the uh, you know in Fragrantica though it's definitely there so beautiful fragrance and again thank you so much for this fragrance Jo Malone and Thank you, Zara, that you supported this initiative because it is great. And the last but not least, it's again a hidden gem, a fragrance that I haven't heard anyone talking about. I purchased it myself in the store because I just loved this fragrance. I fell in love. I sprayed it. I went out. I was walking and I was thinking that, yes, it smells somehow familiar. Probably I have something like this in my collection already, but I need it. It has some other uh, nuances that I like even more. Um, and I'm talking about the fragrance from the brand called Afnan. I don't have any other brands, uh, other fragrances from this particular brand. Um, I went to Afnan store in the mall and I came across this fragrance. It's called La Fleur Bouquet. The packaging, well, I must say, the packaging is amazing. This um, paper, it has the, uh, you know, the texture and the flowers, they are textured like this is not just uh, something printed. Um, it's, it's not, uh, it's a very high quality, this is what I'm trying to say. The box opens like this and the fragrance uh, the bottle it looks like this and I must say again the presentation is really really nice uh, it also has a card here uh, with the name of the brand and the name of the flower the fragrance and the explanation and um, let me the, show you the bottle it is a bottle of very high quality I would say the quality of the glass how um, thick it is the lead the cap is made of metal this is metallic cap this is not uh, plastic it is really heavy and altogether I would say this is a very very good presentation for $35 amazing I would say and the fragrance itself it's also really nice it is so soft it is so sheer but at the same time uh, it's, it's intensive, but sheer. Uh, it is plural, but not harsh and not strong. Um, it is uh, transparent in some way. And at the same time, um, I don't know, it, it has, it's definitely very similar to Fleur Narcotique by Ex Nihilo. And I have another fragrance that smells very similar to Flora Narcotic, but that one is more musky and more thick. It's not that transparent. Uh, but this one is really sheer. It is like an air, like it's, it's very fresh. And it's not that musky, not at all. I would say I can't even smell musk here, though even in Azora from Atar Collection, the fragrance that smells very similar to Flora Narcotic, I can smell musk, but here, no not at all what i also can smell here some sort of you know um Baccar rouge vibes but um very subtle and i would say even Baccar rouge i would say uh burberry her i think this is like a mixture of like a marriage of 
um, Burberry Her and Fleur Narcotic. It has more from Fleur Narcotic rather than Burberry Her, but it definitely has some features from Burberry Her. I fell in love with this fragrance almost from the first sniff. Um, and again, I think this one is even better than Fleur Narcotic and even better than Azora just because it is lighter, more sheer, um, having the same vibes. It is not dense and it is perfect for summer. Um, though the Azora is very good summer fragrance, but again, because of that musk and that lactonic and um, yogurt type of vibe that it has, creamy, creaminess, uh, I would say it can be a bit heavy for summer. This one, it's perfect and it lasts long. It really does last long. I love this fragrance. Uh, if you don't know what is Floral Narcotic, it's a floral, citrusy floral, uh, musky type of fragrance. Also, I think it has some woody notes maybe, but altogether, very pleasant, very pleasant. And again, the I loved everything starting from the packaging, presentation, uh, and the juice itself. I fell in love not with the packaging, don't get me wrong, I mm, fell in love with the fragrance because I sprayed it on the blotter, I sprayed it on my hand and I left the shop and I was walking around the mall and I realized that I need this, I need this. And then when I you know, received a, a bottle in the packaging, like I didn't see the packaging when I tried this fragrance, I was really surprised. and. This is amazing. A fragrance together with the, again the presentation, everything is top notch. Bravo, Afnan, just bravo. Uh, and again, if you are looking for something very similar to Fleur Narcotic, but lighter, less musky, less cloying, um, more summer friendly, more heat friendly, I would highly suggest you this one. I will put the, all the links in the description box so we can read the name of the fragrances. And um, this is all. This is it for today. Um, I hope you liked uh, my today's fragrances. If you know any of them, please let me know uh, if you have these fragrances. I'll be very interested to know how many people also discovered these hidden gems except me and what do you think about them. Do you agree with me that these fragrances smell really, really good and they smell much more expensive than they cost? So I'll be waiting for your comments. Thanks for watching me. And as always, I want to wish you a great, great uh, weekend, an amazing week ahead. And I hope to see you in my next video uh, next week. See you guys, bye.